cancer research. Um, there are so many places that are actually doing a lot of cancer research. I love it when um, we can contribute in any way. I wanted to do a quick video um, just bringing some attention to um, two videos that I saw recently. My husband is amazing and he researches and reads and goes over a lot of things and he brought to my attention this amazing video on um, research and cancer and how things need to change. They have to change for us to get better answers. I mean, one thing um, my dad always says is uh, ask the correct questions for the correct answers. And, you know, maybe I'm paraphrasing a little, but the thing is, is you have to ask the right questions to get the right answers. And if you've been asking in the same way all the time, it's just you're going to get the same things. And yes, they've done amazing things. I'm not a scientist. I couldn't do, you know, one ounce of what they do. Although I see um, some amazing work being done by, um, I think her name is Azra Rasa, A-Z-R-A-R-A-Z-A. -A -A -A. And she is amazing. And she's talking about cancer research. And my husband had me watch this video and I'm going to share the link, um, you know, in the comment section. For this video and it's just amazing and I love that she has so much care for people with cancer and research and trying to do more. My best doctors I've ever had were curious. They cared to do the research. Um, the doctor that absolutely saved my life and my son's life, she was up some, you know, against some hard things and she was curious. She cared to research and I, I, I can't tell you how um, mind-blowing it is to know that there are people who have this knowledge and can do something with it and if they care enough to be curious you know blessings to them and so much support so this lady Azra Rasa beautiful video um, about research and cancer also there she was mentioned in another video that I saw um, I actually like watching this guy his name is Adam I don't know his last name but it's a like a series Adam ruins everything and it is awesome I, I love to see that he's just blunt and straight out with things things that you feel like sometimes you're screaming at the rooftops you know listen people this or this and a lot of things I learned um, brand new from him he's amazing he, he just kind of you know shows an issue and kind of goes with the reality rather than what we are um, perceiving in our daily lives because we can't experience everything so um, I'm going to also have his link on there. Um, just a couple things I'm doing now. Um, I started this YouTube channel actually kind of to show my son videos um, so he can be interactive. And also I thought, you know, I need a purpose. I need to do something. If I have been given um, the opportunity to uh, share with something I'm going through, um, why not try and do something instead of being because I sometimes get frustrated and angry about you know what help I'm getting or how things are going and I can feel that but I can also take that energy and try to do more so this is me trying to do more so I'm trying to do that also whenever I shop on Amazon because I shop there a lot because sometimes I'm just too tired to move um, I use Amazon smile and they also have a little link where you can choose whatever charity you want they give a small 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 amount to the charity, but that small amount over many people can really um, add up. So I um, support the MPN Foundation, and um, I know there's a lot of different charities on there, but this one is what I'm supporting on there. We buy everything on there, so they're getting some money from us, um, and it's not necessarily from us, so that's cool. Um, also, last year, Rare Disease Day. I finally told people I had polycythemia vera. I hadn't spoken about it um, to that many people. I mean, I told a few, and of course, like my coworkers knew before a lot of people, and that's because they, I felt so horrible. They had to go through quite a bit, and to this day, man, my heart breaks, because I was in, so confused and going through so many things, and I wasn't functioning so well at work, and man, I, I just, I wish I had an answer at the time. I was just going through so much, and they really had to like, step up for me and to this day I'm utterly grateful. I had so many just wonderful people helping me, loving me, supporting me and I had just recently moved there and started working there. I'm just 
truly blessed to have had such a horrible time in such a perfect place. It's, it's kind of crazy. Anyhow, I love these people and I'm grateful for them, but, um, they knew, uh, some family and friends, obviously a lot of people didn't know I had my son until I, you know, waited till things were a lot better for both of us. He was in the NICU for like a month and a half. I was, you know, in and out. So we needed to have some peace time before I said, Hey, I have my baby blessings, everything wonderful. And then it took me forever to say I had PV. So I finally did last year, rare disease day. I thought, you know what, if I'm going to do it, I got to go out. I've got to have some people know about this. And it was like a weight lifted off me. I felt like I had been so secretive and not telling people how I felt. Um, I felt embarrassed to cancel plans. We've moved um, to Pennsylvania from living in California. And so it's really hard to go out and meet friends and do all this stuff when I have all these new rules. I'm a mom now. I'm dealing with my health issues. We don't know this area that well. Um, the people here have been absolutely amazing. But I still have to say it is difficult because I flake on people. And I feel really bad. Um, I try my best, but sometimes my body has other ideas for me. And I don't, you know, that's one of the things I'm, I'm trying to like figure out. Um, but instead of being embarrassed about all of it, I'm just confronting it and saying, you know, I have a rare disease and I am trying to deal with it the best I can. I'm no longer going to have it as something that I hide, you know, behind and I'm embarrassed to tell you because I thought it was like a weak thing to be diseased. And you know, it's not really weak. It's just your body's doing its thing. And, you know, if you're upfront and honest with people, I don't want, you know, I have to tell them, you know, I'm not dying tomorrow. You know, I'm not. And, you know, God forbid, I hope I'm not, right? Um, and I'm still functioning, but I have a different way of functioning. And that is what I'm, you know, coming to terms with. Um, so anyhow, I came out to everyone, said I had rare, uh, rare disease. It was on rare disease day, February right now. Um, I'm hoping to do something for that also this year. And the cool thing about it, I had so much love, so much support. I told everyone on Facebook and I mean, that was a big deal for me, big time. And the love and support I received was amazing. And it brought attention to the MPM Foundation and to donations. I, I didn't ask for anything. And to my surprise, people were like, well, how can I donate for more research? I was shocked. And so... Um, we can do all the little things that we can to have help from others and accept that help. And sometimes we have to cross our own barriers. Um, but if we can do that, there's some more research and I'm hoping they can correct the way that we are getting a lot of the research done, but also in the meantime, do something more and better for all of us. So that was my, um, thoughts. I, I wanted to share this one video you know, I think it's so important, um, a curious doctor in research and bless all the researchers. Amazing. Um, so anyway, those are some things, the MPN foundation on Amazon smile. Also letting your friends and family know that you have the disease being open, which could be really scary and hard. And, um, just hoping for more research and being open to it. So that was some of my information. I hope you can watch these videos. They're really, um, eye-opening. So that's my recommendation.